Sabre Warner. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Recently, the Premier has taken the tact of going after the Saskatchewan budget for their budget. Let's look closer to home, shall we? The NDP will amass over $70 billion in debt in four short years. The recurring cost to Albertans in order to service that debt will be over $2 billion, which incidentally works out to a burden of over $1,200 added to every household in Alberta each year. To the Premier, does she not recognize that adding debt is tantamount to piling taxes onto the backs of future Albertans. Minister of Finance. You know, in tough economic times, uh, this government has the backs of Albertans so that we can get through this recession and into positive growth. The, the Saskatchewan budget was brought up. Should I just remind people that the Saskatchewan budget had huge tax increases on everything from children's clothing to construction, Mr. Speaker. We've kept taxes flat this year. We did not raise taxes. We are bringing in support for Albertans in every respect. You know, in Saskatchewan, they had massive cuts to education, health care, and hundreds of millions of dollars are gone from their economy. The levy is a tax. Given some fairly competent bean counters told me that it will take a generation to pay off this government's reckless four-year spending spree, and given I have talked to university students who are happy about the government freezing their tuition, but fear that jobs when they get out of school will not be there. To the Premier, what will those students think when they realize it was you who sold their future by indenturing them to a staggering provincial debt with no jobs to help pay it off? Shameful. Thank you, very, Mr. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. You know, this side cares about uh, Albertans, both current Albertans and in the future, and what their lives are going to be like. Mr. Speaker, we're prudently and thoughtfully taking down the deficit as we go forward, but we'll not throw Albertans under the bus like that side would, Mr. Speaker. And I want you to, to know, Mr. Speaker, that the, uh, the uh, Conference Board of Canada said that the, uh, the, the budget for Saskatchewan won't be stimulative to that province. We are doing things that stimulate our economy. Saskatchewan is doing the opposite thing, and they're going to suffer for it. Second supplemental. Mr. Speaker, given the Premier says, quote, you're living in a fantasy land for believing you can balance the books without impacting frontline services or hiking taxes, end quote. And given every time any of the opposition parties propose cost-cutting measures for the NDP to get their spending under control, can the, pre can the Premier square the circle and help Albertans understand the NDP worldview on how the budget will balance by 2024? Or do budgets balance themselves, as her new BFF in Ottawa believes? Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. We're, as I said, we're thoughtfully working with Albertans and bringing the uh, program services forward they require. They require good health care. They require yeah. good education. Yeah. We're doing everything in our power to make sure those are solid so that our economy continues to fire on all cylinders, Mr. Speaker. Investment is coming back to this province. We have the highest weekly wage earnings of any province, Mr. Speaker. Things are pretty good here. I just wish they would notice it and be cheerleaders for Alberta instead of Saskatchewan. Woo!